throw. So this has got the Little bar, little bar's nice. been made, mate. I can... Yeah. Not bad. A little bit of a finish on there. Bit yep. of oil. Oiled him up, mate. Like that was free, that was. A couple of garter clips and a bit of wood. Nice. Young Lee here. Back yeah. with bush rats. Fuck. Try again. <laughs> Young Lee. <laughs> <laughs> G'day, welcome to another episode of Bush Rats. We back out here, here with Young Lee. I'm Tony. We're at the Glen Mervin again. Fishing here has been probably the best so far all winter. Yeah, caught a big boy here a couple of weeks ago, so we thought we'd come down and give it another try. Yep, Tony's got some fun facts about the Glen actually, tell us. Not much to know about it, but it was uh, officially a dam in 1969, and it just kind of regulates the flow come down out of Lyle's Mill stream um, and then ending up in the Preston River. So there you go. Yep, they chuck a few trout in here every year. Yeah, uh, about a, 500 or something yeah, got a last year. A few perch, a few marin kicking around. Yep, but uh, well, we've got a few cook ups. We're here for a couple of days. Yeah, a bit of a camp, fishing. bit of a cook up. What are you going to cook? Um, we've got some lamb shanks, I reckon. A bit oh. of red wine, a bit of mashed potatoes or something. Lamb yeah. shanks sound pretty fancy. A uh, bit of fishing and uh, just some general hijinks. Yep, so we're all set up. We've got the little blue boat just over now. Gold, silver tent, everything you need, but we'll let you know how we get on. Get into it. See you out there. Griller. Gotta work a treat. All right, we're just getting geared up for some fishing. Got a new technique we've been trying out lately. A little uh, present for Levi. Thanks mate, we got some fresh bells. Try not to pass them out this time. Yep, we've got a good spot. Just sitting real close to the water, gonna get some worms out, get our drift on for a little while. Put the bells on, kick back and relax. See how we go. So if we're on. My first setup anyway, it's just a sinker with a Patanosta rig and a worm. Let's do it. Right, so the bobbers weren't working too well, so we've loaded up the boat and we just can go for a bit of a trawl, aren't we, Tony? Trawling now. Yep. See if we can't pick up something. Heading back to Tony's favourite spot. Yeah. Just cruising, 10 feet. Putting some nibbles out the back. Give it an eye out. <laughs> oh. 
Tony's on. Little ready. All right. Tony here, just been uh, getting our trawl on in the spot. And uh, first little fish of the day on the same old silver minnow. Let's get back to it. Day one, Glen Mervin underway. Just picking up a bit of activity just here. So exciting, so exciting. I think Tony's on again. Way down town. You. Another shaker size ready. Another ready on the trawl. Let's keep at it. Not bad. Not bad. Gotta keep an eye on your lines around here. Tony here. Number two on day one's trawling. Just getting a few laps in before dinner time. Arvo fire start up and whatever. But yeah, shaker size. Classic bush rat style. Just getting through lap one. I'm thinking a lure change because Tony's got his little shiny one on that seems to be having a win. But a um, couple more laps, I reckon, in this. Yep. I reckon, yeah, put something on silvery maybe. Drag them back through the uh, hot spots again and see what happens. Sun's out, shining. Beautiful day for it. Let's get into it. Lap two. Bit of a school going on. See bus stops happening on the screen there. Seem to be getting them. This just in, Tony and Lee back from the uh, first trawl of day one. Picked up a couple of little ones. What about effort, mate? Good times out here. We're gonna hit the boat real hard tomorrow. Hopefully, pick up a fair few more. But, uh, a couple of little guys. No bad. Yeah. Can you believe that? Pretty good job. The cotton, bro. It's been a ripper day out here on the Glen. Just got the fire cranking. Got a few worms out there on the float, but we're going to cook up a bit of a feed. Take it easy for the rest of the day. Oh, that's good. Here we go guys, just wrapping up a day one. Got a bit of a feed on the go. Got that orange. Orange cheese on the go. Yep. We've got a few worms out there on the float. Just gonna keep it nice and simple tonight, uh, tomorrow morning. Load up the boat. Back in the boat. Yep, got a bit of a cook up happening tomorrow afternoon. All action tomorrow. We've got a big week, day session planned. Yep, it's gonna be a good time. But uh, we'll catch you out there. Hopefully we get a fish this afternoon, we'll let you know, but till the morning guys.
morning two lads out here at the Merv, Ooh. the Glen. Pretty, uh, uh, pretty sunny this morning. Yeah, a bit cold last night. Yeah, not a cloud in the sky really. Yep. Apart from those few clouds. Didn't manage to hook anything up with the uh, worms on the floats overnight, but uh, we'll get them back out there this morning. A little bit of boating on the go today. And, Should uh, be a fair amount of fishing happening. Hopefully we can get a few stonkers, but mm. get into it. <laughs> Should be at eight o'clock. Conditions are supreme. Absolute glass off A-Tone. Hey, Let's go get the dogs. Cruising, 12, 13 feet, a bit of structures. 1.3. 1 1.3 miles per hour. So we're happening. Hooning. Just coming onto that first lap. A little bit slow this morning, not a whole lot of activities. No hits yet. Still early, but we've got all day. weather's just starting to come in. We're a bit worried we're out here. It's probably hitting, you know, five knots. We've got about half battery speed. We've got it on full piss. We may not make it back. I'm trying to brave that storm. We've got a serious headwind happening. As it's cold. Full skull dragon. <laughs> Just braving that rain, heading on back into camp. Tony's picked himself up a nice little ready again. It's been rough out here, but uh, good to pick up one at least. Man, I haven't even got a ready yet, have I? It's been tough. It it's has been, been a tough. week or two. Yeah. No, well. <laughs> Not bad. Day two, Tony here. Uh, just uh, battling with the weather a little bit, but got this little guy on the way back to the campsite on the trawl. Same old silver minnow lure doing the job. Same size. Yeah, not that big. Not too bad, but we'll get a feed out of them. Yeah, put him in the bag with the others, keeping them fresh. Not a bad fishing spot, the old Glen, eh, Tone? A few fish. It'd be great if there were a few more fish, but um, maybe it's just a sign of the uh, seasons. It's kind of pre-spawn, pretty wintry at the moment. Day two, Glen Mervin, second attempt at fishing. Let's get our troll on. Not a lot happening out here. Nah. It's a little slow, we're running low on juice as well. That's that's full piss. We've got no no more Lawrence. Lawrence has left the building, so no. we've got no more sonars. Lawrence is out of batteries. But yeah. we're gonna make that slow cruise on back to shore. Do a little bit of chilling. G'day legends, welcome back to another episode of uh, Young Lee's Kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking up some lamb shanks. Got some nice scored up lamb shanks here, got them from the local butchers. And with your lamb shanks ingredients wise, you just want some sort of root veg. We've gone with a uh, potato and carrot. 
some onion. We're going to put some, uh, what are they called again? We're going to be putting some Brussels sprouts in there as well. A couple of mushrooms, two different types. Stock, Italian diced tomatoes, some red wine, oil, salt and pepper, and a nice pot for cooking in. We've got the old trusty cast iron from the last episode. Let's get it underway. First things first, we're going to get the meat ready to go on the flames. We've got the grill on the fire, ready to go, heating up. We're going to get the pot on there, them on the uh, grill. Let's make it happen. A little bit of oil. A little bit of oil on both of them. Rub that in. That's how it doesn't stick to your grill. A bit of salts. A bit of pepper. Right, let's get on over there. Right, you got the grill red hot, sitting on them logs. Simple as that. Now the idea here is we just want to seal them, get a nice bit of colour on there. We're going to get the stuff in the pot ready to go as well. Get it all ready happening. Let's get the pot. Right, they're underway. A little bit of oil in your pan. Once you've got your pan nice and red hot, first thing, your onions. Now ideally I'd have a bit of garlic from there, but I forgot the garlic. But we're just gonna get a little bit of color on them. Then get your root veg in, your meat, get the sauces happening. It's all gonna be a concoction of infused flavors. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be a great time. We're gonna enjoy. Right, nice bit of colour on them. That one's a little bit black. And onions cranking, bit of colour on them. Root veggies in. We got a little bit of red wine in there. All right, so you just want uh, the sauce just covering or just about covering up your meat, just like that. We're gonna let that slow simmer away for about three or four hours until that meat's fallen off. As for these, we're gonna put them in a little bit later because we don't want them falling apart. But once the uh, potatoes and the carrots all fall into bits, the meat's just hanging on the bone, nice and tender, we're gonna be on. We'll let that sit for a bit, we'll come back and check on in a little while. All right, she's been on the boil for about an hour now. We'll give it a bit of a check. Good, look good. Bit of a stir. Potatoes are starting to break down, looking good. If your sauce levels start getting too low, you can just add a little bit of water and more stock, but it's looking pretty good. Give that about another hour, I reckon. guys it's been on the boil there for a little while weather's starting to cool down got the trackies on ugg boots let's have a look eh look at that bubbling away nicely just gonna add these other veggies in put them on the top just like yay leave them there stir them in slowly they'll get a bit of a steam on get them cooked in but 10 15 i reckon they'll be done All 
All right, guys, we've had them on the uh, slow broil there for about three hours. I think it's done and dusted. Let's get her uh, served up. Do Tony up a bowl. A lot of the meat's just falling off the bone there. A little scoop of goodies. Nice hearty feed for a cold winter's night. Let's give those a taste. Here you go, Tony. I'll do your trade, mate. One for you. It's hot. She's real hot. It's meaty. It's hearty. Look at that big chunky bit. Got a nice view and everything. Not bad lamb shanks, mate. Very good, Chef Lee. Fallen off the bone, slow cooked, three hours. Sure. Got a few veggies in there, a couple greens. Tony doesn't like the Brussels sprouts, but they're in there now. I'm not a Brussels sprouts guy. But uh, gonna give myself a little bit of a taste. See how she goes. Right, nice little bit of meat there. That's tasty. Brussels sprouts are spot on. Taste of red wine. Can't beat that. I'm a big fan of the lamb shanks. What about you, Tone? I'm enjoying it also. Enjoying it? That's it, guys. Another episode of uh, Cooking in the Kitchen with Young Lee. You enjoy the sights. Worms aren't doing too well this afternoon. But uh, if we get one, we'll let you know how we go. Good chip, huh? Mm, not bad chips, mate. That's it for day two camping, guys. Glen Mervyn, not a bad day. Tone, caught a fish. One fish, one lamb shanks. Yep. Been a good day all round. No fish for me again. Glen Mervyn's not really me spot, I don't think, but uh, we're going to carry on the night playing a few more rounds of chips. Chips. And uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. You. You got worms, bro. You got worms. Yeah. Just no action all day on the worms. Oh, absolutely none. Put it back out, eh? I feel like we've camped in the dead zone a little bit. We've had worms out there for 48 hours. Absolutely nothing. Like, oh, look. Still there. Still on. Pretty tough out here on the Badlands. Day three on the camp. Gearing up for another go at this fishing business. Gonna get another trawl on, see if we can't get Lee a fish. Yep, needs to be done. And uh, just get out there and get a few laps in. Yep, gonna get a couple more laps in on the uh, little blue boat and it's pack up time. But been a ripper camp so far, mate. Let's make it happen. Got that slow cruise happening. Not a lot of fish out here. Tony's caught three over the space of three days. I've got nothing. Just getting that zigzag on.
pack up time. There we go guys, another episode of Bush Rats done and dusted. Yeah. Not a bad camp out here at the Glen. Yeah, thanks to Glen Mervyn Dam for some pretty good camping and not the best fishing, but pretty, pretty shit house fishing. I had a rough time. Tony got a couple there. Yeah. But um there's always there's always summer we can try again. Yeah, we're still learning, we're just giving this trolling game a go and Yep. Good cook ups all around. The place is nice and tidy, there wasn't a lot of rubbish to pick up around here. Weather was on and off, but uh, you get that in winter. Yeah. Till next time guys, we've got uh, shirts, hats, beanies, beanies. Like, and stickers, everything. Like and subscribe. Yeah, Bushrats, stop big cartel, like, subscribe. Make a second YouTube account if you have to. Let's get them subs up, hey? Come on, boys. Leave a comment. Let us know what you obviously want to see. We're going to a few new places next week, but yeah. till then, guys. See you next time. Take it easy. Yo! Good times.